Hey, hello there, guys and gals. The Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time, we're getting it all in Road to Guangdong. I will try to refrain from making any jokes. Um, <laughs> this was developed by Just Add Oil Games, published by Exp Excal Excalibur Games, and it's usually available for £16.74 slash $19.99. But it's on sale this week for just three to four bucks, and it does go on sale quite frequently too. So we play as Sunny, a girl who, in the wake of a family tragedy, ends up in the legendary car, taking road trips across 1990s Guangdong to get some recipes off random family members. Although they could have literally just sent it in the post, but there would be no game then, I guess. Uh, now the achievements, they're all pretty much story related. Apart from two, which we can, which you can actually miss in the last mission. Uh, but there is quite a bit of the game to get through, since this is sort of part visual novel, part driving simulator. So that's where I come in. Now, the video is only an hour long, but please note the majority is without the driving sections, which I've edited out. So, especially towards the latter part of the game, which can maybe take around 40 minutes or so to get through. So all in all, you're looking at around three to four hours to fully complete it. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now, like I said, it may seem quite confusing first, but as soon as you sort of get a grips with it and you know exactly what you're doing, it literally becomes a breeze. And I highly advise putting something on the TV screen or watching something on your phone during the driving sections. Although, do keep an eye on it um, because we need to get some scrap parts. But anyway, for now, what we're going to do, you can press the A button to pick a dialogue option and the X button to skip and spam through everything, which we are going to do. Um, to be honest, I wasn't really that interested in the story, so uh, sorry about that. So, spamming the X button there, we're just going to spam through all the dialogue. And there's going to be a lot of talking. Of course, this is part visual novel as we get our first achievement here. Keys for Sandy. Clean keys. Um, so, that's exactly what we do. We've got to take a road trip, meet some family members, and uh, yeah. So, we can just pick the bottom option there to go straight to the car. None of the dialogue options matter at all. Now, this is what you will, uh, this is kind of just, just the base bit. So, we're going to fill up the oil by uh, clicking where it said oil, and then you press the A button twice to confirm. Basically, if you've got the oil in the inventory, all you need to do is just press the A button twice, and it'll sort of confirm. Um, the petrol cap is the other side, so if you move it with the right stick, <coughs> uh, sorry, the left stick, there's the petrol filler tank. So, again, you press the A button on it. And as long as you've got one there, it's, uh, it, it will say owned items. So as long as it's in the owned items, you can just press the A button to fill it up. And then that uh, starts that one. So this is the very basic sort of elements that we're just going to get through first. And then in a little while, we are going to see and we're going to find out how to take care of the rest of the car as we begin driving. But anyway, this is how we start. Now, every time you need to look down, look at your keys. And you need to press the A button to start the car, right trigger to um, drive, left trigger to reverse if you need it, and left trigger to steer. So, but you need to, every time you need to uh, turn the key on. So what we're going to do then, we're going to head left first. Now there is no indication of the game, it tells you where to go. The road, this road is very, very linear, uh, but there is no indication. So the first time I was looking around for ages, like, where the hell do I go, what the hell do I do? But for the majority of the game, it is literally just a straight road. So for now, like I said, for, for the other bits, we'll, we'll all the scrap parts and garages and stuff, we'll get in that, into that in just a little bit. So for now, we're just going to keep going down, driving along. Now, the one thing I should say is, you can see on the speedometer, now, I would highly advise against, as we uh, get into the game proper, I would highly advise against driving over 60 miles per hour, because that can damage your car quite, uh, quite a, a lot. The car is a hunk of junk, and it does break down very easy. So for the majority of the game, I sort of teeter just below 60 miles an hour, which uh, seems to be fine. Um, but yeah, that's just my highly advice. And as, as you can see there, on the bottom, you've got oil, fuel, and the uh, temperature, the, the sort of temp, the cooler, the cool temperature. The You know what I'm trying to say, the one on the right-hand side. So obviously, throughout the game, as we just keep driving down, we'll obviously need to be topping up oil and uh, oil and petrol. And the temperature gauge there, you just uh, just don't press and hold the right trigger down. Um, otherwise, it gets too hot. The game will tell you, um, and a light will appear anyway, when the temperature is getting too hot, as we trundle off to the right here, and we can start this sort of prologue mission. Now, this is what's going to happen through for the majority of the game. You're going to drive to a place, and you're going to have to do a little thing for family members. 
Damn, that is one big mono bow, broski brosk. Damn. Just chuck a razor. Just chuck a, a Vit wap, Wax Strip to the middle of it. I'll do. So again, um, what you're going to do, like I said, any dialogue options do not matter. So you can just keep uh, pressing the A button and then skipping it with the X button. If there's nothing else to see, they will see. If there's nothing else to see, so then you can just crack on. Um, but the, the another, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> sorry, it's quite early in the morning. My English is still uh, as good as my Spanish, non-existent here. So we're going to see, after a while, every time you end up speaking to people quite a bit, a little green sort of option. You get an extra green dialogue option, which will appear on the right-hand side. As we spam through and spash through. There it is. So every time you see that light bulb, a new one branches up. So then you can press the left stick to go over, press the A button, which I obviously didn't do there. So you need to press the A button on it, and then when you see the little finger mark right there, that is the new dialogue option you can take, which progresses the story. So there will only be some times where we'll have to uh, pick a specific green dialogue option, but obviously I'll be letting you know, because, you know, that's, uh, that's just the kind of guy I am. As we go into the road, to your nan's dong. Ah, oh, damn it! Sorry, I did say I wasn't going to make any jokes, but uh, no, well, there's the first one. Sorry, sorry. Try and dong. <laughs> anyway. Right, so that is that one done. Um, after speaking to your, your grandma, old, <laughs> old Nan's dong eyebrow head. That is a giant eyebrow, isn't it? Is that a cultural thing? Do people have massive eyebrows? Is that just lazy or is that a cultural thing? Anyway, remember every time you're in the car, you need to uh, turn the keys, pressing the A button. Don't go to the right here. That is an absolute <laughs> dead, dead end. Oh, that's, a, <laughs> that's a dead end, you bell end. So let's just reverse. Like I said, it was still on the same one road that you can go on. As I'm just damaging the crap out of the car and everything. But now what we're going to do is head all the way back down. And we're going to go to the garage. Luckily, I don't drive like this in real life, otherwise I wouldn't be on the road right now. It would be a lot harder for me to do a delivery job. Oh, and that car just crashed into the wall, and that guy's dead. Right, so what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to drive down this road anyway. There's going to be a garage on our right, and this is where he is going to explain um, a lot more about the sort of car basics. So obviously, we've already seen how we top up with oil and petrol. But what we're actually going to do, every time that we get to a garage on the way, um, we can have the, you know, service attendant or whatever you want to call him, actually top up the oil and petrol for us for a small fee. And we're going to do that every time because it's just easier that way. Here is the garage here on your right. Uh, somehow I ended up missing the turning. Because I just, like I said, I don't drive like this in real life. I mean, they'll have a little bump the other day, but that's, uh, you know, that, that that wasn't my fault. The guy was a douche. No, I'm joking. So, this is going to be basically it for the majority of the game. So, you're going to drive to a location. There's going to be a bunch of scrapyards and a bunch of garages to your right-hand side. So, uh, just smash through this bit of dialogue anyway. Um, broski Brosk here will um, introduce himself with his weird arm. Bro, it looks like you've got... Look, it looks like your forearm is bigger than your biceps. What happened there? Old sp <laughs> old Popeye boy? Eating too much spinach, that, isn't it? So here we go then. So like I said, this is a driving simulator. So as you go along, the car will need repairs. As you can see in the top left corner, it'll say severity, whether it's high, moderate, low, or critical. Now we should already have an air filter in. So again, all you need to do is press the A button twice to change the air filter. Fan belt will be the same thing. So uh, just press repair and then replace. Again, this will cost you a little bit of money for labor. And be get a new fan belt. Do the same here with the wheel. So again, just press the A button a couple of times and that will change the wheel as well. You can already see as well then, next advice. Um, obviously we don't have an engine, so you don't need to worry. I only changed the engine once throughout the game and that's because I let it die on me, to be honest. 
Um, now the petrol, you don't need to worry. Don't do what I do here and waste a jerry can. Don't waste a petrol can like I did here, because what you can do is actually get them to fill it up for us now. But anyway, it's up to you whichever one you want to do. But that is um, how you basically do the car. Now, if you're out on the road and one of the wheels falls off, that's fine. You can uh, change the wheel yourself. But if there's anything else that goes wrong and you end up breaking down, you need to press the Y button and you will be charged £75 to get to the next or the closest garage. Um, and then you can mess around with the car parts in the garage, but uh, that is, you know, pretty much like pretty much like a car in real life, isn't it? Unless you're really good at that. So, five missions we're going to get to then. The first one we're going to go to is the very top one, which is Guangzhou. I hope I pronounced that right. Guangzhou, uh, which is called The Associate. So that's the first one we're going to do. And this is going to be like, you know, we're sort of getting into the... I mean, this is the main first mission now. As we go to find the giant dong. Uh, damn it! Sorry. Sorry. Again, I, I tried not to do that. But anyway. So this is it now for the majority of the game. We're going to go to places, do a little mission, go to other places, job done. So we can just keep going straight. So don't worry about anything else. So turn so slightly left. And now we're just going to head straight. Now, what are you going to see? Now... Money. Money is the main thing in this game, which we need to be uh, quite aware of. Now, you get a little bit after each mission, but not enough to sort of keep you afloat. So what you need to do is, every time you're driving, on the right-hand side, what you're going to see is a little gap opening up like this one, and you're going to see Scrap Pile. Now, in this Scrap Pile, there was always going to be a bunch of random elements you can you can just literally have for free. Now, what you're going to get, any time that you see an engine... You're going to take any engines, whether it's red. So basically, the color indicates the better quality. The, the, high, the, be the brighter the color, the better the quality. So obviously, if something's red, the quality is not that good. But what you need to do, anytime you see an engine, I would highly, highly advise taking every engine. And that is just to sell to the, lo to the garage later on. The engines, especially if you have a good one, the engines give you quite a lot of money. And wheels as well. So anytime you're in a scrap pile, anytime you see any engines and wheels, make sure to pick those up. In terms of oil filters, air filters, and fan belts, um, I highly recommend just just having one in your inventory just in case. Um, you don't need to sell it because they don't sell for that much. Um, but it is, like I said, engines and wheels. They are the main two important things that we're going to be grabbing from every scrap from every scrap pile. And here's another one then. Oh, look at that. Just made it. After I crash, apparently. But that is it. So, it's worth, you know, having something to watch. But you always need to just be aware. And uh, just, just make sure, you know, just be aware. And always be grabbing things from every scrap pile that you can see. So, like I said, the brighter the colour, the better the quality. So, remember to keep that in mind. But again, any engine and wheel, they are the two... Biggest ones that will give you a lot of money. So they are the two that you basically, like I said, any oil filters and air filters and stuff, you can literally leave them in the scrap pile because they sell for absolute, I've taken bigger turds than you actually get for, <laughs> bigger peanuts than you will get for selling those. Uh, you can turn the headlights on if you want. I tried advice, I, I just didn't bother because uh, we're literally going in a straight line. So that's about that. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, for the last time I'll mention it, but any, every scrap pile, make sure you grab every engine and every uh, wheel. And you can press the sort of back button or select button, whatever you call it, to have a look at the menu and to see what distance and how long that you've got left until you get to your next location as well. Um, otherwise, that's, pr that's literally it for the road until we get to a garage, which here we are. So it's always a garage and it's always a scrap pile. So... In the garage, I'm going to explain to you exactly what I've done to make the game a lot easier. So, hopefully, you've gotten one or two engines and a couple of wheels. If you've got, like, a really good high-quality wheel, I highly advise keeping that. So, we've always got three options. Petrol and oil, parts, and repairs. Um, so, I'm I am actually going to show you the parts first. So, let's go to the parts first. But, basically, every time we go here, I go in to buy oil, petrol and oil, and I always get the guy to fill it up for us. So, buy and sell. So, obviously, our inventory is here on the right. So, 
Any wheel, if you've got a good quality wheel, I highly advise keeping at least one. But any engines, okay, the, the red engines are not very good. But as you can see, a little bit, a little bit better quality can come in for 76 and 62 um, monies. <laughs> I don't know what they are. So that's monies. Um, and then you can sell off all the wheels as well. Like I said, except for one. I highly advise keeping one. Um, and that is how you will get the majority of money in the game. So at the bottom there, you can see fill petrol. Um, also, I end up buying... I also end up keeping two oil cans and two petrol cans in my inventory as well. That's just in case. But again, every time we come to a garage, I make him fill the petrol. And on the left there, just behind my Welsh handle sign, is fill oil as well. So I highly advise... Every time you go to a garage, just make sure that the petrol and oil is filled. And that will just, it's just easier because it's very cheap anyway. But like I said, the majority of money you'll be getting is from selling engines and wheels. Whether the, I, th I, I assume that all the scrap items will always be randomized. So don't worry about that. But um, if it does come to a point as we begin our descent now to Guangzhou, if it does come to a point where you've got like, you know, one engine that is in the red and then you've got one engine that is a lot brighter, obviously always take the brighter, you know, quote unquote engine because that is the one that will get you the most money. So again, and obviously if you drive in at sort of between 50 and 60 miles per hour in the game, then you're not going to be using as many parts. I ended up doing that and saving, and I think I had about two grand by the left of the game, so... Right, this is the first mission anyway. Sorry, I know I've done a lot of talking, but it is just one of those that everything's just happening and I've got to kind of explain things as I go. So, basically, we're going to get a grandma laid now. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's called the road to Guangdong, because what it should have been called is Grandma's Road to Graham's Dong. Uh, that, because that is his name, and he's not a Wong, by the way. So, you've seen the green option appear here, an old friend. So, you can either press the, the one option, or we can go ahead and fetch Graham Wong, which we ended up doing. Now, I'm no expert, but um, that is the... I, I'm a white guy myself. That is not a Wong. He looks more like a Mong, Dong, Chong. He, but he's not a Wong, okay? He is the whitest, palest mofo we've ever seen. But anyway, if that's what Grandma likes, <laughs> hey, that's what Grandma's getting. So when the option appears here, the green on the right-hand side, press it and then press the A button to say, how do you know, goo, uh, grandma, basically. And then after this bit of dialogue, you can then simply go ahead and just go back to the restaurant. So go back to the restaurant and, you know, I'm sorry, but that is, <laughs> that, that is not a Wong. That is just a Dong. So, I ended up choosing the apartment option. We want to go to the apartment. So, choose the apartment option, and then we'll get a new green dialogue. Go over to it and click Graham is nervous, and then choose Are You Okay, Graham? Apologies that I'm going um, quite a bit quick with the, di <laughs> with the dialogue here. Um, I do end up slowing it down a little bit later on. Then we're going to choose Graham is nervous, and then press the A button on Why Are You Still Nervous? And then eventually, after getting through this next bit of dialogue here, we will be able to go in. Come on, broski. My grandma, my grandma wants a slice of that bald head, dog. Uh, a good listener. So, like I said, you're going to choose all the green dialogue options just to progress the story, but they don't matter in which order or anything you do them in just yet. So now we can go ahead and go into the restaurant. And again, we're going to slam it, slam through the dialogue. Look at the gut on him as well, dude. That is, that is insanity. Whew. You need to lay off some of that French food, bro. Right, so now we've got to do, we've got to be a bit matchmaker. So, choose a good listener and then press the A button on the dialogue, which appears. Well, yeah, my grandma's getting laid and I can't even get a text back. Well, something's wrong there, isn't it? Right, so after exhausting all the dialogue, we can now finally just go ahead and go to the restaurant. And then go to the main room. <laughs> Grandma, what are you doing? Why does it smell like <laughs> olive oil and candle lighting here? What the hell? What's that lavender smell? Anyway, we're gonna again just exhaust all the dialogue options here again for the moment.
And then after Grandma starts fiddling around with the dra toys in the drawer, I don't, I couldn't see well, what was in that drawer, but we're going to go back to the main room, back to the restaurant, back to the apartment. We're going to speak to Graham once again. Her boyfriend? <laughs> I don't think Graham was up for that. I think he just wanted uh, I did. He, <laughs> I think he just wanted a good pegging. Don't Google what pegging is if you don't know. Uh, right, but uh, apparently that's not what's happening. Um, <laughs> Graham wanted something. Grandma Eyebrow here wanted more. <laughs> so again, choose the green option. We're always going to be choosing the green dialogue option when it comes up. Like I said earlier, that that's the one that progresses the story. Do you love him? Because he told me he just wanted to be tied up. Yeah, he seen you on the internet. On Grandma's... <laughs> GrandmaChessboard.com uh, Right, so, back into the apartment here. We are going to speak to Graham again. And again, like I said, th this is the majority of the game. We're just going back and forth to people. Sorting out people's bloody problems just for a recipe, which you could probably get off Google. Although it is the 1990s, so Google wasn't around yet. Very early 90s. Right, so now we've got Graham with us, we can go back to the Graham room, the main room, not the Graham room, <laughs> the main room, back to the side room, and they're all going to be like, pew, pew, pew. By the way, this whole family looks like they are jawing constantly, like they are constantly on the old pillagan. Um, <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's not funny, sorry. So we're just going to talk to Big Uncle Wong. Marion, Jesus Christ! I thought you only wanted to, I thought you only wanted to see her because you see her on grandmachessboard.com, but uh, no, apparently um, that was that was quick. And maybe she thinks nobody will love her because of the eyebrow. If you've got a monobrow, people love you, okay? You're still goddamn beautiful. Don't let anyone take the mick out of your monobrow. Okay? You're goddamn hot. Right, so, uh, finally, we can have the recipe. So after exhausting all the dialogue options, we can finally get our first achievement here of the game. Uh, <laughs> no, th these missions do seem like they take long, but when you just spam through the dialogue, it's not too, not too bad. Excuse me. So, Hong Kong Egg Tart is going to be our first achievement. And after um, getting through some more dialogue, we will also get the Associate Achievement. And that is for basically getting the random lawyer who's seen grandma on grandmachessboards.com who now wants to marry my grandma. Yeah, he's basically coming to our reunion dinner, so... Damn, that escalated quickly. I guess we've got an Uncle Wong now. So that's the first mission done. Mission two is going to be the letter. Here already flashing up, which means we're going to be needing to travel to Dongguan, uh, which is always fine. Now, like I said, every new mission we start, the distance is going to be, it's going to be a lot more. So for this one, I think it's only going to be, um, well, we'll soon see, won't we? Um, obviously we need to start the car up. But anyway, it'll get to 119, then I think that the fourth mission's like 208 miles, or whatever it is. But uh, yeah, so it does get quite, you know, only slightly repetitive as it were. But if you want to keep checking the distance, remember to press back on the B button there, oh, the select button, sorry. And as you can see, we've now got 63 miles to do. Now, um, what I, now what I've done for the rest of the video, I'm actually going to leave basically the whole of this drive-in um, but when we drive to the next couple of missions I've just edited those out okay so I'm just th this is now really the first proper proper road trip that we've got going so that's why I'm sort of leaving this in um, just you know not as a just in case because you know hopefully I've explained things well enough um, that you don't that you can literally probably just skip this part and go to the next mission uh, but I have just left this uh, this driving bit in and then, like I said, the rest of the drive-in I have left completely out. Um, so, you're on your own with that bit. But like I said, it is easy enough. Remember to just keep checking on your car. So, what I end up doing is every time that I uh, go to a scrap pile, I have a quick look around the engine. Have a quick look around the car. Make sure that all the wheels are all good. 
Um, I mean, in terms of wheels, I ended up just waiting until our grandma says, oh, we need four wheels to drive. Um, and you can always tell when you've got three wheels because your car goes on a bit of a loop. And then I changed the wheel. Um, again, like I said, you can drive at 60 miles an hour if you want, but I was doing it sort of between 50 and 60. That's just to keep the oil and the fuel sort of chilling. Uh, here's another scrap pile. If you do see that the oil is going down remarkably quick, that means that you've just got an oil leak and you'll have to change the oil filter. That's all. Um, again, like I said, highly advised taking if something is as, is of good quality, I would take that. Plus, again, remember to take the engines and the wheels. They are the ones that, are, like I said earlier, they're going to get you the most money. So, that one is pretty much good. Like I said, hopefully I've, I've emblazoned that into your brainicle. Uh, brainicle, eh? Yeah, so hopefully I've embraced that into your brainicle. So you will just keep getting the engine's wheels, sell that on for some good quality dong. Dosh dong. Um... So yeah, like I said, that's why I highly advise, after every scrap pile, I would highly advise, um, now to get out of your car, by the way, the car's got to be turned off, then you've got to look at the door, and then you can go out and have a look at your car. Um, again, the, you know, for the majority of times, you don't even need to have a look, you can just wait until you get to the garage, then have a look at the repairs if you want to, but, um, yeah, that's, that, that's pretty much what I ended up doing. Um, there's no particular need. To keep looking at, at your car after every, um, after every, you know, scrap pile visit, etc. You can just wait until you get to a garage, click the repairs option, and then go into next advice, and it'll tell you what needs to be changed, etc, etc. Uh, but for now, like I said, just keep having a look at the right-hand side. The scrap piles will only appear on your right-hand side, so just keep your eye out for the time being until we get to the next garage. Whoopsie, kind of run out of petrol right here, uh, which, you know what, I always end up just doing anyway, so, oh no, sorry, we've got, um, we were, <laughs> is it petrol or is it, is it a wheel, I can't remember which one it is, but like I said, grandma's always going to be telling you anyway, I think it's a wheel actually, no, it is petrol, uh, yeah, so, that's why I always keep two petrol cans on me, just in case. Um, a lot, you know, for the majority of the time, you will be able to make it to the garage. Um, but I always highly advise keeping two on you, just in case. Um, but like I said earlier, Grandma will always let you know if the petrol's low or if the um, your wheels are going to be missing. But what she doesn't tell you is if the engine's about to blow. So if you ever get an opportunity, just make sure, just have a little look around, just to see that everything's still good. Make sure that the health on everything's all good. Uh, on the air filter, the oil filter, and especially the engine. So obviously you should have plenty of engine stuff left. You should be still good to go at this point. It literally, the only thing you'll need to worry about is just the petrol, which is fine. 
But like I said, I highly advise when you get to the next garage, just buy another petrol can so you've got at least two spare. Because you don't want to be spending 75 soggy dong on getting to the next garage because you'll end up with no money. And that is how you get the game. That's the only way you can lose this game is if you run out of money. So that's uh, just being aware of that one. So here we are at the next garage anyway. So close from home. That's annoying. So obviously, like I said, the order that I do things in for the majority of the times is, as we will just uh, load up, I go straight into the petrol and oil first. Okay, I end up doing that later on in the game. <laughs> um, so I end up going to the parts first, apparently, so we can buy or sell the parts, which is the top option. Then we can obviously sell um, all the engines. So again, if you've got two or three engines, you can, you can literally get a good couple of hundred straight there. Make sure, like I said, to keep at least one good wheel on you. The rest you can sell, which is fine. And make sure you've got at least one part of everything. So make sure that you do have an engine, an oil filter, an air filter, and a fan belt. Um, again, that's obviously just in, uh, just in case uh, you end up breaking and you need, to need it being replaced. So, um, like I said, the order that I normally do it in... I mean, it doesn't really matter which order you do it in, because you're going to be doing the exact same thing anyway. But we're going to be buying the petrol and oil. We're going to fill the petrol, and we're going to fill the oil anyway. And like I said, we're going to buy another two petrol cans just to keep on you. The oil, I never really had to top up. In fact, I didn't top up at all um, when I was out on the road, but it was there just in case. Because every time we get to a garage, we're going to fill the oil, we're going to fill the petrol... If you want to have a look at your repairs as well on the car, just to see if there's anything that you think might need replacing, or you can get away with it, that's fine. But again, I didn't really do that an awful lot. Only sort of now and again, especially on the bigger road trips. Otherwise, you're as golden as nuggets for us to just crackle on with. Right, so I edited out basically the majority of that drive. It was uneventful. Like I said, all it is is you look at scrap piles, you check out your petrol and oil light. So, um, obviously, I highly advise every garage that you see, and obviously, it'll tell you anyway when you press the select button in the distance, it'll tell you how far you've got to go. Excuse me again. <coughs> until you've got until the next garage. So, petrol, just making it. And then, of course, you're just doing the same thing as usual. Um, filling up your petrol and oil, uh, selling any engines and wheels that you've got, and here we are going to check the cars. Don't do what I done here again. This is just this is just silly. I just ended up wasting a petrol can for no particular reason, uh, so don't bother doing that. And like I said, now we can just go across and have a look at the next advice. So it'll say the oil filter is high. So if you want to, you can change it now, um, or you can just wait until you get to the next garage later on. Generally, if it is high, I generally do end up changing things. Uh, moderate is fine. You don't need to worry about that. If it's moderate, that's fine. Um, otherwise, yeah. So anything that's high and critical, I do end up changing. So that's what I highly advise doing. Obviously, every time that you end up using a part, as we just go into the petrol oil, and oil, of course, uh, make sure to fill up the petrol, fill up the oil. Always do that every single time. Uh, I'm this is how crappy this car is, by the way. Huh. How crappy is this car that you need to change literally everything? Yeah, thanks, Grandma. You literally just give me the worst car around the whole country. So, appreciate that. Uh, but again, like I said, it's going to be in order that you do it in. Fill up your petrol and oil. Make sure you've got at least two petrol and two oils. And then sell any engines and wheels. Every time, of course, that you end up having to use, say, a fan belt, an air filter, an oil filter. Just make sure then... I mean, you can buy it off this guy. He normally sells high-quality stuff for very cheap anyway. Or if you would rather keep your money and keep your two dong, yeah, keep your two dongs, um, just go into the scrap pile and just grab one or two from there. Uh, it's up to you how you do that, but generally, it's cheap enough to buy off him. Um, the only expensive thing that I really bought off, off him was a high-quality engine. Um, that was... Yeah, that was pretty much it. Yeah, that was pretty much all I bought off him. And the rest, like I said, the filters and stuff, you can get for cheap off him. So it really doesn't matter. But anyway, after a bit of a while, we have finally almost made it. Hooray! But hopefully at this point of the game, 
you've got an inkling and a, a really big idea of sort of what's going on and how to do stuff. Because from now, after we do this mission, I'm not showing you any um, driving at all. I won't be showing you any driving because it's just going to be the same thing. Um, apart from the one time that I ended up breaking down. Um, and like I said, hopefully if you if you break down, just press the Y button and you'll be fine. So, here we are then on to uh, the next mission here. We're just going to, again, obviously we're gonna, just going to spam through the dialogue, of course. And eventually, after just this little bit of dialogue, we are going to get the turnip cake achievement. So there it goes. We've got another recipe. Again... Cheers, broski. You literally could have just sent that in the post, but they, what do I know? I've got to, I've got to drive a crappy car around, spending a crap load of money because it's crap on petrol, crap on oil, crap on parts. Thanks, Gran. Uh, you got your fill with big, with Graham's big Wong, and now you want to punish me for it by giving me this car. So, thank you. Anyway, again, this is just more dialogue option, just smashing through for the time being. And like I said, any time a green option comes up. Assuming and at the time that you're able to use the green option, then you're going to be able to use it. Because obviously you can't just use it straight away. You've got to get through some more dialogue first, and then you're able to do that. But for now, we're going to head outside anyway. Uh, I think we're pretty much uh, done talking to everyone. No, we are going to keep talking to everyone for a minute. Ah, there we go. So every time you are done speaking to people, they tell you you should go and do stuff. So that is when you know you're all done. And we've got the three green dialogue options for you. So what we're going to do now, we're going to head outside and we're going to go to the roof terrace and we're going to go ahead and speak to Mr. Bro right here. And the option that we're going to use, after using all, uh, spamming through all the dialogue options here, what we're going to use is the trust in love option. So the second option, as soon as it's available there, we're going to use trust in love. Big love. And then of course pressing that, press the A button twice to use it. And then after this, what we're going to do then is go ahead and go back to the living room. Here we are. Automatically, we'll do that. And then once the dialogue's done again, we're going to head back outside. So press the outside option, of course. And we are going to go back up to the roof. Speaking to Broski and his Moski. This time, we're going to use always a tongue option. So it'll be the bottom option, it's the only one you can use, always a tong, press the A button there twice again, and we're just going to spam through all the dialogue until this mission ends and the letter achievement unlocks. That's all there are in this, this game, you're either a tong, a wong, or a dong. Me, personally, I'm happy being a dong. <laughs> Dongberg. So heading on to mission three then, it's going to be the one that is flashing there, Hard Work, which is in the district of Foshan. Now, as I said, um, what I'm going to be doing, all I'll show you is the distance first, because from now for these next couple of missions, it's going to be like 119, 208, and there's going to be like three or four garages in each time. Like I said, by now, you should pretty much have got used to the driving, what we need to do. Um... Every time you get to a garage, you know what you need to do. Scrap piles, remember to grab any engines and wheels. So at this point, that's why I've edited out the driving, because you really don't need to see me driving and just doing pretty much naff all for like 30 to 40 minutes. So as you can see, this is where the distance really takes it, you know, takes it into account of how kind of tedious it can be, I'm afraid. Um, so if you want to uh, get some music going, if you want to get some... Um, you know, to something on your computer screen or, you know, something to watch as you go on. Always make sure to just keep uh, having a look at the scrap piles and everything, obviously.
So just uh, showing you there how easy it is to lose a wheel. Where the hell did that wheel go? Anyway, here we are then at the next mission, which is called Hard Work. It's hard work driving this piece of crap car. I feel like uh, Miss Trunchbull from, the t from Matilda. Flaming useless car! Right, anyway, obviously, <laughs> it's a long drive, by the way, until we got here. I don't know if you noticed that, but it is a bloody long drive. So again, lots of talking here. Lots of talking. You need to greet some suck. Sorry. Sumsuk is what I assume his name is. Uh, but for British people's um, purposes, who can't pronounce any foreign names, because British people are just, yeah, we can't do that. Saifu. So what we're going to do then, just, um, we're going to go to the, uh, we're just going to uh, spam through all the dialogue first. Uh, so again, smash through all the dialogue, make sure that everyone's all good, and then we can end up going to the courtyard. So in the courtyard, what you're going to do is just go through everybody's bit of dialogue, just keep spamming through, and eventually... We're going to get a couple of green options called Discipline, Creativity, and Leadership. So just, again, that's just by spamming through everyone's dialogue options. Awa? That's when someone tries to talk to me in the morning. Ah, uh, what? Sorry. So, sorry, I, I, I'm terrible. Right, anyway, uh, back to the courtyard here, speaking uh, uh, speaking about everyone. And it looks like our Kung Fu Master's tea looks possessed. Bro, your brew is possessed. Chuck the bloody tea away, mate! Anyway, so here is where we're going to start getting the creativity, the uh, discipline, and uh, leadership greens. I'm a little better than everyone else here. Eric, son, you must follow direction. You rack a discipline. No, -uh, I don't rack a discipline. So back in the courtyard anyway. I don't know where that uh, little bit of South Park came from just then. Um, Ken, what are we going to do? Speak to Yang and choose the leadership option. Uh, th there is only one option that you can choose for everyone anyway, but that's fine. Uh, so, yep, uh, speaking with Yang gives him the leadership, uh, leadership option. Then you're going to speak to Awa, and again, just say y Yang is more experienced. But again, it's just always going through the dialogue options. But as soon as the green one appears, choose a discipline, the Katamana-san. Except this is Awaramana-san. And then finally then, um, for Kwong, or in fact, I think there was one dialogue option we didn't... No, we're all good. So choose Kwong, Kwong and Kodos. And again, we get, as soon as the green one pops up, it'll only be creativity this time. So, Yang is creative. There we go. So, that is all the green options done for all three students. Then we can choose the train together option. Now, you can if you want to watch. But um, as soon as you uh, spam through the dialogue again, you can actually just press the X button to skip any cutscenes. As we get the balance, we get a new balance option here. So, now you can press the X button to skip, which is exactly what we're going to do. You know, we, we've we've driven enough to get to this point. We don't want to be watching Oops, Bang, Ja, Ya. Yeah. Right, after this bit of uh, dialogue, the gratitude option, green option, will appear. And then when, when we hear at Sci-Fi, we're going to use gratitude with him. So again, get through the dialogue. Try and mention that his tea is possessed. He's not going to have it, though. And then choose the gratitude option. Thank you, Saifu. Sifu. And then eventually the um, gratitude option will appear. So again, after spamming through all of this bit of dialogue, uh, gratitude shall appear. Or oh, balance, sorry, no, balance. Uh, so choose balance this time, not creativity or discipline. Make sure to choose the balance option here. And then both discipline and creativity. So after this bit is done, this will get us the Buddha's Delight, Hard Work and Yang achievements. And that is how we end this particular mission.
So next up then, mission four, we are going to Kaiping and we are going to do the dog sitting mission, um, which is on the bottom left hand corner. So we're going to choose that. Now, just be aware that there can be a glitch. We basically have to get two friends to, you know, become friends again, not bitter ex lovers. Um, but there is a point where the game may glitch out on you. It did glitch out on me. Whereas we couldn't progress with any of the dialogue options. If that does happen, just go ahead, press start, restart the mission, and you will have to obviously do it again, but it will get rid of the sort of glitch feel, which is a bit weird, the bug. Anyway, again, for the driving, it's another long drive, so just do what you're doing. Scrap piles, garages, you should be pretty much uh, used to this whole driving thing by now. So we're just going to end up... Oh, nuts. In fact, this is where my engine broke, actually. Uh, so, <laughs> so here it is. Ah, oh, my healthy engine is dead. So I've actually just shown you here. Again, like I said earlier, if something like this does happen, get back into your car and press the Y button. Uh, I think if it's something small or if you are quite close to a garage, it should be free the first time. It wasn't free for me. But uh, hopefully it should be free for you. If it's not, it should only cost you 75 scamoleons. Sc again, I've got 1,597. And again, that is just basically from completing the missions and selling the engines and wheels as well. So, of course, since we are... <laughs> that was an expensive drive. But tis what tis. You gave me the crap car, Grandma. So you have to deal with it, you big eyebrow-wearing bug. So, obviously... You know what to do. Um, if, for whatever particular reason, you don't have an engine, um, normally the garage should have an engine for you. The guy in the garage should have an engine for you to repair. So, don't worry. You can't actually lose the game by doing this. It's only if you run out of money. So, since you're here anyway, you might as well have a quick look through, see what needs replacing, see what needs doing. If something's high or se severe, like I said, just go ahead and uh, change it. It's always worth doing. And again, you know, obviously, the drill, petrol and oil, top up, sell any parts you've got, and then move on. We can crack on then to El Nexto, Mission Aronio. So here we are then, we've driven all this way, all this bloody way, to do some goddamn dog sitting. Well, aren't we just big fantastic members of bloody society? Broken down and everything, broken engines and all. Yeah, well, aren't we nice? And we're not even getting pay paid for it. Excuse me, my voice is sort of dropping in and out at the minute. So, again, like I said... Uh, I'll tell you where the sort of uh, glitch or bug may happen, but for now we're going to head to the food stalls anyway. Um, and then we're going to go to the house. So that's all good. Now we're going to go ahead, ring the doorbell. And we are actually going to get an achievement in just a bit as well. The dog sitting achievement. So after this bit of dialogue is done, we're going to talk about the restaurant. So with that bit of dialogue done, dog sitting achievement unlocks, now we can just crack on with the game. So we've got a pet dog, we can give commands to it, but we're not going to bother. What we're going to do is we are going to talk, 
eventually. Again, you can tell the dog to come with you, to stay, but it literally, there's no point because the guys outside the food stalls don't want him there. So, um, you can say stay. In fact, we are going to tell him to stay first. So, so tell your dog to stay, and then we're going to go ahead and leave the house. We're going to next go to the food stalls. And what we're going to do, this is where the bug may come into it then. So we're going to talk to Hawker 1 first. And after speaking to him, what we're going to get is the X best friend the green option. Doesn't matter which uh, option you choose, one or two, literally makes no difference. He can only give us one, which is, what's the point in having a food stall if you can only give us one bit of noodles, you donk? So, uh, from here, we need to go back to the house. We actually need to give our grandpapa, grandmama, the noodles. He won't actually serve you, by the way, if you've got the dog on you. That's why you, uh, we need him to stay. So, <laughs> she... It, man, they look like boiled eggs rather than noodles. But still, each of their own looks, still looks good. Um, so again, smash the dialogue again, as we've been doing for a minute. And we can finally crack on. Now we're going to leave the house. And when we speak to Hawker 1 again, as we go to the food stalls... So we're going to speak to Hawker 1, we're going to ask for the recipe, things are going to happen, and again, the ex-best friend green dialogue option will appear. And it should appear, there it is. So, this is what we get then. Um, so, uh, what we can do now, we can go ahead and just spam the dialogue. If you back out of the conversation now, this is where the bug will happen. So you actually have to exhaust all the dialogue options with Hawker 1 before going to Hawker 2. Um, now we're going to just ask about the feud. I don't think it really matters, but now we can use the X best friend option on him. Again, if you backed out of the conversation with the Hawker 1 the first time, um, you wouldn't be able to have got him to do that. So you'll actually have to replay the mission. So if that happens and you can't progress any further, um, as we go back to Hawker 1 here and get the X best friend options on him again. If you can't do this with Hawker 1 and Hawker 2, again, restart the mission and it should be good to go. So, never back out of the conversation, just keep spamming all the dialogue options there. And now we've got the Like a Squirrel option. So now we're going to go back to number two. <laughs> number two. And we are going to say, did you talk to him? I don't think it makes a difference which dialogue option it is. But now we can choose Like a Squirrel. Like a Squirrel. There we go. And now we're going to get an option for keeping secrets. After, again, we just spam through all the dialogue, and eventually, we are going to get the option for keeping secrets. There it is. And again, like I said, that, that's all it is. If nothing appears, just get through all the dialogue. Go back to number one, uh, and again, why aren't, what are you not telling him? And then, then we can choose the keeping secrets option. There we go. And we're finally almost done. Literally, why don't they just, like, talk about it, and then job's done then, isn't it? Go back to not Hawk at number two. And then after finally talking to him, everyone's all good. We're all happy. That makes us friends again. And, uh, and God, we're done. Then we can go ahead and speak to Hawk at, um, Hawk at two again. No, we don't need to speak to Hawk at two. We're all good. He apologized, even though they've just stood in the same position, not actually talking. So we can go back to Hawk at one. We can ask him about the recipe. And we're going to get the Guangdong Roast Goose Noodles Achievement, which actually sounds goddamn fantastic. That actually sounds real fit, to be fair. So I, might, I, I want this recipe now. Anyway, that's what gets us the achievement. Now we just need to speak to Hawker 2 one last time before we get the ability to go back upstairs. So thanks very much. We get a free dessert as well. We'll take that. Right, now we can finally go to Seki's house. Go up to the living room, and then a lot more talking is going to happen, and then the Bao Bay achievement will unlock, and we can get a frozen chicken, which we'll never actually use. So, that's the end of this mission, finally.
So, the fifth mission it is now, and it is the Big Sister achievement, or the Big Sister mission we're going for in Shenzhen. So, and that's where we're off. That's where we're going next. Again, it's another big drive. You know the drill by now. Scrap pile, garage, blah 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 You know the drill by now. Look at all those garages to get through. <laughs> oh! Time for some fun. <laughs> Right, so here we are then. Now, this is the one that we have to do some certain things in a particular order, because you can actually miss these two achievements. So just, again, just go along with what I do and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, it's still very easy enough, but if you, I think if you do some dialogue options or you pick the wrong dialogue options, especially at the very end, you may miss out on the achievements. So rest area and then greet everyone. Uh, we're just gonna speak to absolutely everyone for the time being. So keep speaking to all three. Or three options, anyway. And then once that is done, we're going to go uh, go to more and then go to farm this time. And we're going to speak. And what's going to happen then is it's going to get us the be helpful option. So offer to help, blah, 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 blah. That is eventually going to get us the be helpful option. Job done. Right, let's go ahead and find Loi Loi. Loi Loi Loi! How do you like me? How do you like me? Loi Loi Loi! Right, so, back to the rest area here. We're going to talk to Gu Xiong, and we are going to be helpful. But you have to speak to Gu Xiong. Then we can offer to babysit Loi Loi after we use the be helpful option. And uh, Basically, what we're going to learn is that we need to make a nice roast chicken for dinner. I will take that every day of the week. Thank you. So, yes, of course, blah -de blah -de blah go through all the dialogue options again, and then this time, we are going to be able to move to the kitchen. So after the dialogue is all done, we can now go back down to move, and go into the kitchen. So, here, this is where we're going to get the recipe, and we are going to get, and this is the important option that we need, is the Ask Loi Loi Green option. So, you need this specifically um, to get the two achievements. So... What you're gonna do, use the green Loi Loi option on her to ask her where the chicken coop is. So, smash that. And then we can go to the chicken coop. Now, what we're gonna do is ask Loi Loi several times. We need to ask her, uh, uh, ask Loi Loi quite a few times to learn about her pet chicken called App App, which she doesn't want to kill. So, we're gonna use the choose chicken option. Again, th this may seem a little bit confusing, but we need to ask Loi Loi a couple of times. So, you need to keep asking her, please tell me. Again, if it doesn't appear, just choose the top option there. You know, what do we need to do next? Um, and then eventually she will tell us that she doesn't want to kill him. So, she tells us the name, but she doesn't actually want to kill him. So, there we go. When we do that, then we get the use a different chicken <laughs> from the dialogue. So, we should get that green one now. So, we can... You then use that use a chicken th different chicken option, and eventually we will get the a place to hide option after all this dialogue as well. So where can we hide app app? So basically, as long as you just keep talking to Loyle rather than go into a different location, you should get these options. So a place to hide. There we go. That's job done. Now we're going to go to the kitchen. And we're going to use a place to hide on Loi Loi. So check for a hiding place. There we go. There's that one done. Now what we're going to do, um, we're going to go to the farm next. So we go, go to the chicken coop. Now, since we don't have a choice. Um, now what we can do is just head to the farm. We've already got who we need to, to kill, which is always nice. So we need to go to the farm next. We need to go to the rest area. Go to move, and then go to the farm. So we, we need to go to the clothesline as well, but the option's not here yet. So we need to use a different chicken and use it on um, Goo Goo, the Goo Goo dolls. So, and then of course, just spam through the dialogue anyway. Uh, Trying to convince Goo Goo again. Goo Goo, Goo Goo, Goo Goo, Goo Goo. 
And there we go. And then she'll eventually say, I'm sure you'll figure it out, which is fine. So we'll go to the rest area. Now we're going to go to move. We're going to go to the chicken coop. And then we're going to choose um, the uh, kitchen. So head into the kitchen. You can probably just go straight to the kitchen. Uh, leave a kitchen. And now we can go to the clothes line. So when we go to the clothes line here, we're going to now use a different chicken option on uh, Gu's Yong. Again, I really apologize if I'm butchering all these names, which I probably am. Please don't hate me. So spam through it all, spam through it all. And then what we'll be able to do is go back to the chicken coop here. So go back to the chicken coop. I know, kind of long-winded this one, isn't it? Uh, go back to the chicken coop. Then we can use the different, uh, say how do we choose a different chicken. And then eventually we'll be able to use the green option. Use a different chicken once again. There it is. So again, use a different chicken. Make sure it is the different chicken one you're choosing. And decide to use the chicken named Fei Fei. So just again, just spam through the dialogue and then she will say Fei Fei is all good. And then that will immediately bring us here or automatically bring us here. Uh, again, smash through the dialogue as usual. That's all we've been doing throughout the entire game so far. That's what we're going to keep doing. And then after this, what we can finally do is then eventually go to the kitchen. So there we go. After all that dialogue, we should now be able to take Fei Fei to the kitchen. We're almost done with the mission, by the way, and there's just one long drive home. So look at the cooking area now. Um, yep, get out, you bug. Otherwise, I'll cook you. Then we can um, prepare the chicken. So we don't need to ask Lloyd anything now. We can just prepare the chicken. Job done. Damn, bro, that's a big fiery pan. But go on, sunny girl. Use that jaw. That's a hell of a jaw. Right, since it's ready, we can now... Basically, it's going to be dinner time. Now, these are the dialogue options that you specifically need to pick. So, first up then, we need to use the dialogue option, no. So first of all, we need to choose no, which is the second option. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next up, we're going to encourage Loyloy. Loy. So we are going to encourage Loyloy Loy to speak up. Go on, Loyloy, Loy, get in here. Tell him he's been a douchebag. And then lastly, but not leastly, it is we try telling you. So we try telling you, but you were both busy. And then once you have un uh, once you've picked that one, the Cantonese roast chicken achievement will unlock, and then the big sister achievement will unlock a little bit later on. And then we've just got one more long drive left to do, and that is dong da dong 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 done. Oh my god, you finally made it. Is that not has that just not been the longest <laughs> road trip of your goddamn life? The last couple of hours have been well entertaining. So as you can see there, I ended up finishing with 2,000, uh, 2,000. It literally doesn't matter how big or little you've got money, as long as you have money left over. Uh, this is the last finally bit. So, uh, Mr. Wong's been on his own. I wonder what he's been doing. Hmm, I don't really want to know. Hmm. Anyway, smash through the dialogue as usual as we've been doing so far. And then eventually we've got the option now to meet Mama. Mama, Mac Sheep, Mavimu Manimal. 
Mess me, mess me, me, my mule. Uh, but eventually we will be able to just, uh, I don't th even think you've got to smash the dialogue at this point now, to be honest. We can meet Mama. Mama, three bags full. And then what we can do from here then, what we need to do, um, we'll meet Mama. Uh, who, after speaking to her, she's going to give us the options of Proud of Guma and Duck Confit. So, here we go, after speaking to her, blah de blah de blah smash through it. And after we've got the two green options there, Proud of Gumar and Duck Convict, we can now just head to the restaurant. And then what we're going to do, um, old eyebrow pencil head right there is going to be like, Bruh, I am dying for some French food. And we're going to say, suggest lunch. So make sure to choose suggest lunch. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. We're going to choose suggest lunch anyway. And then we are going to say, suggest something else. So bottom option there, suggest something else. And then they're going to be like, well, oh, actually, I fancy some noodles. My gut screams noodles. Hey, tell me, bro. Mine too. <laughs> My gut always screams noodles. So after that one, we can now go to the the apartment, back to the apartment. And after speaking to Mama, 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 and everything, we are going to get the double happiness green option. There it is. Double happiness appears. And then simply we can go back to the restaurant. Go to the kitchen. And we can go ahead and put the old duck bags in the oven. There it is. Now we're going to head to the reception area. We are now going to, after speaking about all this crudsky crudsky, we are going to use the duck confit option. I'm Kugan. Kugan up some pills, bruh. Uh, now choose the duck confit option. And then after this one, we are then going to take Mama Mac Sheep. And again, after all this, <laughs> we spam through again. We are then going to choose Mama Mac Meep uh, to go ahead and get her. Take her down for dinner. Time for dinner. Come and get it. Come and get it. Ding dong. Ding dong. There we go. Cook the duck. Blah, 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 blah. All good. And this is going to be the final thing. So we're going to get the duck confit achievement here. We're going to smash through all of the dialogue and then we will get the duck confit and family achievement. And that will be it finally. So there's duck confit. Family, after all this dialogue here, family will unlock and job done. So I'm going to leave it here now. So again, thank you so, so much for watching guys and gals. I know there's a lot of talking and I know there's a lot of jokes, but the jokes kind of writ themselves. Um, but obviously, with the whole driving simulator thing, eh, kind of was sort of necessary. Um, but there we go, guys and gals. It will eventually unlock. The credits will roll. Everyone's happy. So enjoy your next new, brand new, shiny 1000 out of 1000. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. Big shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. You guys and gals, trust me, you've saved me. You saved me. I love you all. And that is that one there, guys and gals. So thank you again. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ba 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 ba. Big live.